Monthly stimulus checks specifically focused on the low income. Some important information we need to keep our eyes on. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so as of recently, we've had a number of very important pieces of information being released as well as some statements out of the president. Well, earlier today, we got another very important piece of information released, which is the inflation data followed up by some statements out of the president, which we certainly want to talk about in this video and of course wrap it all together with all of the other announcements we've been receiving lately and discuss how this pertains to monthly ongoing stimulus checks specifically focused on the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. So let's quickly talk about what the president said just a little while ago in regards to that inflation data that came out earlier today. Which by the way if you're interested about the inflation data I did talk about that in the last video a few hours ago. Feel free to check out that video as I went through all the details, but the information came in at 8.3% once again. Therefore, inflation is very, very high right now, very much elevated. However, go check out that other video after you get done watching this one from earlier today if you want to see all the data about inflation. All right, so let's quickly talk about what the president said just a short time ago as he made some statements on this inflation that continues to go very, very high and very, very hot right now, right? All right, so the president indicated it is his top priority to actually lower inflation and lower prices for Americans with all of these higher prices on literally everything. Now, here's the thing. We don't really know what the strategy is going forward. The president didn't exactly lay out a plan as far as how they're going to lower inflation and how they're going to help out uh, Americans right now, especially the low income and fixed income with rapidly rising prices on literally everything. However, I do want to throw this out there because this is something that we need to understand going forward. Now, we've heard this from multiple different lawmakers as well as high profile people. We've heard them say previously, one way to get ahead of all of this inflation is actually printing more money and sending it out to the people, specifically the low income and the fixed income. They've said this. This is something that they have talked about, about getting ahead of all the inflation is actually sending more money out in the form of stimulus. In fact, I believe Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, has made these statements as well. Again, a very high profile person, right? So some very important inf information that we need to understand. But here's the thing. Like I said, we don't really know what the president's plan is. However, one way that we could get ahead of some of these rapidly rising prices is once again, get more money into the pockets of the people who need it while the Federal Reserve continues to raise interest rates and actually try, uh, tries to slow down some of this inflation. So the point is to actually get money into the people or into the pockets of the people, making sure that they have enough to get by and cover all the necessities and living expenses, things like this, while interest rates continue to move higher as a result of the Federal Reserve, while they try, out, try to lower lower all this inflation. So that is one point that we need to continue to watch it here very, very closely going forward and see what they actually want to do as well as, you know, what their plan is. However, there is more to this equation that I want to point out once again, which is also very important to understand. But really quickly before we get into that, if you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video. I'm doing research all day, every single day on your behalf so that you don't need to, breaking it all down into these short videos as things are changing very, very rapidly right now. I'm literally doing research all day, every single day and making sure that you're staying updated with all this stuff going on, as well as taking advantage of any money benefits, programs, checks, stimulus, and anything else that may be popping up right now as it's being introduced by Congress, lawmakers, and anybody else out there who may be introducing additional money specifically focused on the low income. I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can. So again, if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any updates going forward. And let's get into this other important data that you need to know about. All right, so stick with me on this for just a second here because this is actually important to understand. Remember about two months ago, back in mid-May, or sorry, back in mid-March, March is the, the, the month I was talking about. Anyway, about two months ago, back in mid-March, when gas prices were hitting a new all-time high, which by the way, back then in March, March 11th, gas hit a national average of $4.33 per gallon. At the time, that was the all-time high national average for gas. Well, get this, over the previous couple weeks prior to gas reaching that all-time high, we had multiple different proposals coming out to send out a one-time stimulus check, 
monthly ongoing stimulus checks, tax rebates, tax credits, voucher programs, you name it, it was introduced. At the time, there were about seven or eight different proposals that came up over the course of about 10 or 14 days. Do you remember all that? We were covering all of them right here on the channel. Here's the thing. That's as prices were working their way up, up to the peak. And there were all these different proposals coming out as far as a one-time lump sum check, ongoing monthly checks, all kinds of different things that were being proposed. Now, to be totally fair, nothing actually went through Congress and nothing was actually passed, just so that we're all on the same page and that so we all understand what is actually going on with all this. However, check it out. Yesterday hit a new all-time high of a national average of gas, $4.37 per gallon. Meanwhile, diesel prices are also at a new all-time high, which is $5.55 per gallon as a national average. So here we are. We're here about two months later, after all these lawmakers were coming out, introducing all these different plans for one-time stimulus checks, $1,200, by the way, was being introduced back then. We had all these different um, proposals coming out for vouchers, remember that? where everybody would be getting a voucher going forward. There was the one, the tax um, tax rebate, uh, sorry, gas tax, what is it called? The Tax Rebate Act of 2022. Sorry, <laughs> that's what it's called. <laughs> Sometimes I get uh, a little bit confused on what these things are called. Anyway, the Tax Rebate Act of 2022, that is the one where these lawmakers were calling on a $100 ongoing check for each qualified adult plus an additional $100 per dependent going forward. Every single month, by the way, this would be an ongoing monthly check provided gas prices were over $4 a gallon. Well, guess what? We're well above $4 a gallon right now. My point is, this is another one of the proposals that came up, and by far, this was the most promising of all the proposals. But here we are once again at new all-time high gas prices on a national average. So here we are. About two months ago, we were seeing multiple proposals coming out for stimulus checks. $1,200 one time, monthly stimulus checks, all kinds of different things. Here we are two months later, and we're already above the previous highs of national average for one gallon of gas. Therefore, it makes you kind of wonder, is Congress and or the administration kind of coming up with something? Do they have something up their sleeve that they want to come out and introduce once again? Because if they were introducing all of these different stimulus checks, monthly checks, voucher programs, tax rebates, uh, tax credits, all these different things that were being introduced two months ago when gas was actually less per gallon, and now here we are with a higher price per gallon, and we have you know all these different statements out of the president, things like this, calling on his dedication and his number one top priority of lowering inflation. Again, we don't really have an actionable plan quite yet. So what is the actionable plan, right? Anyway, it's kind of um, a little bit of a situation here where we're talking about all of these higher prices on everything. Inflation is still very, very high, un uncomfortably high right now. And uh, we do know that there are many lawmakers out there who are in support of either ongoing monthly checks specifically focused on the low income and or a big one-time lump sum payment. Like I said, $1,200 is what was introduced about two months ago. Anyway, there may just be something coming down uh, the line here relatively quickly. So this is what we gotta continue to watch very, very closely. I would almost anticipate something to be announced once again. If they were announcing them as quickly as they were two months ago, two months has passed, right? Two months has passed, that means that we are two months closer to the midterm elections. Two months closer to them needing to get something done here for the American people. And by the way, we're getting into the summer driving season very, very soon here, which once again will drive prices even higher when it comes to gas prices. And remember, gas prices are highly correlated to virtually everything, right? So not only the gas that we put in our cars, but also it's pegged to essentially everything else out there right now, even oil prices. Um, if you've been reading any of the articles, I know I've been reading a ton of articles on this re recently, where a lot of people are coming out as well saying, Oil prices, elevated oil prices, is going to impact the price of everything because oil is in a ton of products that we have on our store shelves. Plastics, petroleum-based products, anything like this, it all has oil in it. Therefore, if oil is sitting at $103 a barrel or $110 or whatever it happens to be, that just means it's gonna raise the price for everything. Toothpastes, deodorant, any kinds of plastic products, any type of petroleum-based um, based products, anything like this, it all has oil in it. Therefore, we're all paying more for it. Therefore, what's the president's plan, right? He said that's his top priority. Well, 
let's see the plan. You know what I mean? So anyway, I anticipate we're probably going to get some kind of announcement here relatively quickly, considering what's going on right now. And we've just wasted another two months where this could have been handled two months ago. Checks into the pockets of the people. We could still be getting checks right here, right now. They didn't do anything. Well, are they going to do something now as prices continue to rage on higher? Anyway, this is something we got to watch very, very closely, but don't worry about it. I will continue watching it for you. As I do get more details on any of this, of course, I'll be right back here for you, breaking it all down, letting you know what you need to know about this and how to grab any money, benefits, programs, checks, rebates, tax credits, anything else that may be popping up right here, right now. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other nearly 2,500 videos right here on the channel. Thanks again. I truly appreciate you. I am on your team. I'm right here by your side as I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can. Enjoy your day. I'll catch you again later in the next update.